gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, The Black Dragon Rises. It is I, the Golden Joe Oblivion, are back with our man, King Daemon of the House Blackfire. Just going to continue readjusting my mic because uh, I'm a freak like that. Anyways, so last episode we were destroying the enemy. So apparently people have made it clear in the comment section that all of Westeros, essentially, or like, not all of Westeros, but all the Lord Paramounts of Westeros, that is the... Highest tier for a lore you, lord you could get on the continent of Westeros have all risen up in arms. Well, they, they, they first opposed King Daemon in the Blackfire Rebellion, and then they opposed him again when he demanded that they all surrender their uh, ancestral titles. And so, I mean... It doesn't really matter, though. We're kind of wrecking them. We're, we're beating them all. So these lore paramounts are all going to be replaced. They're all going to be replaced with people that Daemon trusts. And I was thinking, who better to give these titles to than to our fellow Blackfires? Because the way I see it is I don't really have any kind of really long-term goals for House Blackfire. I just wanted to see them win the Rebellion and establish control of Westeros so that, essentially, regardless of what happens... They're always going to be in control of Westeros. So I think I think making our children here Lord Paramounts of every uh, uh, a corner of Westeros would be a good way to kind of round out, finish this series. Because I really don't have um, plans for King Daemon to expand beyond Westeros. We already have a series for that. That's going to be Caesar of House Targaryen. But King Daemon here will establish the dynasty of the Blackfires. In order to do that, we must control we must control every region of Westeros. Now, that is going to allow a, a lot of potential for civil war because, uh, technically, if we put a Blackfire as Lord Paramount of every region of Westeros, that means every region of Westeros is going to have a claim on uh, the Iron Throne. So, maybe maybe we could do a thing where once King Daemon's dead and we have a Blackfire sitting uh, on the Lord Paramount ship sitting on, I don't know how, what, what, what you would describe that as, but with the Lord Paramount in every region being a Blackfire, we could essentially pick and choose, you know, which one we think is the best and then play as them in their quest to take over the Iron Throne from whoever would be the uh, incumbent, incumbent heir. So, for example, it would be Prince Aegon. We wouldn't necessarily have to play as Aegon. I mean, he is, he is, he is okay. He doesn't have terrible traits. But we could play as any one of his brothers or sisters and essentially, uh, you know play from their perspective and trying to take the throne away from Aegon. That could that could add for an interesting little um little evolution of the of the of the series. What the hell is this? Brendan Bloodraven died in the dungeons of King Daemon. Oh shit. I I didn't realize uh, the Bloodraven the Bloodraven died. That does mean Shira C C Star is available. I wonder who she could marry. Who could she marry? Ooh, Bertrand the Red Tusk. Hmm curious. Do you have any lovers? No. Alright. We'll have to keep that in mind. Alright. We need to win wars. Enough dithering. Enough dithering. We are winning wars. Oh, shit. Travelers been rumors of fire and blood. They say that the dragons have once warned that Princess Elena Targaryen now rides Adarian into battle. Okay. That's gonna be another problem is we've got these dragons are fucking hatching and they're hatching in the control of House Targaryen. That's a big problem. We've got Adarian. And we've got three dragon eggs, two belonging to Targaryens, and one belonging to a Butterwell. I'm not sure why. Oh, the last dragon's dragon egg. Dragons lay large scaled eggs to reproduce over the Aeon's unhatched eggs can become fossilized. Dragons have no fixed gender differentiation. According to Maester Aemon, dragons are but now one and now the other as changeable as flame. Okay, so this is this is an ancient egg that has found its way into the into House Butterwell's control, but there are two more that are in the hands of Targaryens. We need to fix that. We're so Adarian is being written by our aunt, Princess Elena. Ooh, that's kind of a problem. Who fucking shit. Killing her is gonna be a problem. She's old though. She's old, so she's gonna be she's gonna be out the door here soon. God, look at that stewardship level, it's amazing. Hmm, marriage ties, Darkland, 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 lots of Darklands. Who's her family? 
Jane Waters, Sir John Waters, your, our cousin, our cousin, they're Targaryens, right? No. Um, and then just regular Targaryens. We should probably kill, kill these people. I court in Scimitar of the Great Desert. Daeron Targaryen. At court in Sunspear. Sir Makar Targaryen. God, there's so many Targaryens. We should probably kill these people. Oh, we could kidnap them. If we kidnap them, would that give us the dragon egg? Could we steal the dragon egg, I wonder? Perhaps we should. Um, is that something that um, Daemon would do? I don't think so. I don't think Daemon would do that. I don't think Daemon would plot. I think Daemon would be the type to wait till the dragons hatch and then slay them in battle. Which is... Dragons? What about Snarks and White Walkers? Get out! <laughs> alright, alright. So we're here in River Run with our siege experts, Simon and Aubrey. Um, the Westerlands, we've got our allies there. We have another army. Where's our other army? Where is it? Where, I mean, is it is it gone? What what happened to our other army? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says we can raise another 8,000 men. That's that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, our other army is here. Nice. And we only have three... We only really have 3,000. Alright, I thought we had more. I thought we had another army in Blackhaven, but I forgot. Shit. Alright, how many men does Sunspear have? Very little, very little. Alright. Take these men, get them on the boats. If I raise these soldiers, where will they be? Okay, they'll be here. Um, maybe we should... They're from the Reach, mainly. Let's march them to High Garden, And then we can go pick them up, and then we'll we'll, we'll land the troops off at a Sunspear, and we'll just raid uh, raid the palace. An outbreak of disease, disease in the camps outside the walls? Alright, that's not good. But we are sieging River Run. I don't... Oh, we can assault. I don't think that's a good idea. What kind of attrition are we dealing with? 0.9. Uh, not that great. Not super. All right, get these men here on the boats. We have taken, we have taken the um, crows barons and the scorched veil. Um, bring them back down here. Relieve the capital. Quentin, Bertrand, and who else? Aubrey, Arthur. No, we need, we need Arthur. Um, how about Russell the Candid? Hmm. Cullion. Good old Cullion. We'll give them uh, Cullion. They'll have a little bit more of a organization. A little bit, little bit more move speed. All right, the veil is being overran by our allies. Very good, very good. All right, get down here. Relieve the capital. That's how you do it. News from Dragonstone, your grace, your courtier Cullion was slain. Who was he slain by? Lord Feral of Feastfires. All right, he's a skilled fighter. He's a skilled fighter. All right, well, that sucks for him. I uh, thought Cullion would be uh, more hiding in the back, not uh, fighting. Maybe maybe they caught him or something. They caught him. Um, Lord John of Golden Grove will give you that. Keeper of the Swans. We need a new commander. Or maybe we don't. It may have just... Alright, okay, we don't. Quentin the Fireball is an advisor. Kenrick, Lord Commander of the King's Guard. We will send you here. Alright, come on. Now, go down to Sunspear. I don't know how many men they have here. 900. They could easily take Sunspear. They could easily capture Prince Marin in a daring raid on Sunspear. But we just need to make sure that um, Quentin the Fireball and the Red Tusk and our commander of the King's Guard are ready for it. Go, go, go! Alright. Then how about Ooh, look at these arm look at these look at this force here. Very nice. Um, what is this? Uh, a message about offer peace has arrived. To the most excellent King Daemon, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We propose a white peace. Ha! <laughs> white peace? You would dare, sir. You would dare. Decline. I will have your titles. He wanted a white peace. Who's he... What? Who does he think we are? We are Daemon. Daemon, the, uh, the Blackfire. You think we're just gonna surrender? Not surrender, but, uh, agree to a truce? Hardly. Hardly. Alright. These aren't our allies, right? No. King Daemon has fulfilled uh, the ambition to groom an heir. My young son has finished his education in military strategy in command. It turned out less. It, it turned out less well than expected. Oh well, he is an incompetent commander. 
So that is Lord Amon, right? Is he is he our, our heir? No. No, he's the se Is he a twin? He is a twin. Oh, he's a twin brother. Nice. Okay, so we have we have we have Lord, uh, Prince Amon, who is an incompetent commander. All right, that kind of sucks. But he has a twin brother, Prince Aegon the Black. And let's see, he, uh, my young son has finished his education in military strategy and command. I notice with pride that he's attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. He's a brilliant commander. And he is the Black. The Black, he is the, he is the young Black Dragon. Well, he's also cruel. I mean, if he could just get rid of cruel and become a better trained fighter and a knight, he would be, he would be the um, heir apparent. Well, he's already the heir apparent, but I mean, change character. Assume control of Prince Aegon as your playable character. But he doesn't have any titles, though. Or does he? I'm confused now. Oh, shit, he does. He fucking does. He's, he's got Dragonstone. We can play as him. Nice. Um, Amon has his own lands. He is Lordship of Blackheart. Nice. Bastardize Daron Targaryen. I thought I already did that. You have to be at peace. All right. Well, we, 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 we will. We will. Win the war. We've already got that. Obtain a dragon egg. Fall in love. Uh, we would get diplomacy if we could pull that off. We already have a lover, though. I thought we were in love with our wife. All right. Whatever. I do want a dragon egg, though. Give me the dragon egg. All right. Aegon the Black. He is a sister, Kala, who is betrothed to Lord Aegor of Bramsfort. All right. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're not gonna be doing the intermarry. We, we we can't even intermarry anyways because we are the Faith of the Seven, and I think that would be a disgusting a disgusting practice of the Targaryens that the Blackfires will not be doing. Um, so when I, I mean when I say that, it's uh, let's see here. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about marrying Shira Seastar to uh, Prince Aegon the Black. She is about five years older than him, but I have full confidence that they'll be able to produce many children. After all, she's a master seductress. Uh, actually, it doesn't affect fertility at all, but she's attractive. I'm gonna do it. I, I will, I'm gonna do it if I can. Um, award on our title? No, offer non aggression pact. Surely I can knight him. No, uh, age needs to be greater or equal to 18. Does not have the trait squire. Okay. All right, that's fine. Let's marry. Um, n never mind. Maybe I can't. Uh, okay, that's that's not good. That's not good. Um, where is my sister? Invite to court. All right, we we will do that. Um, uh, Princess Gwyneth Rivers. Um, invite to court. Mm, no. Okay. How about Maya Rivers? She is married to Sir Clement Keltigar. Nice. Um, how about other sisters? Princess Daenerys of Dorne, imprisoned by Archon Oro. All right. That makes sense. Any others? N no, not really. Okay. Well, when when she Shira comes back to the court of the king, um, we will we will betroth her to um, the heir apparent, Prince Aegon the Black. All right, and how long before we can prepare an assault? Oh, that's 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 it's quite a long time. All right, let's go grab the rest of our men. Probably can go down to the Mander and hop in there. What do you want? You want a white piece, don't you? Propose a white piece? No, I decline. I decline. All right, and River Run. The siege of River Run is going well. It's going well. Um, they are retaking the Red Fork. Um, dear half brother, excellent. And that now I will I will betroth I will betroth the Sea Star. Two. Um. Okay, okay. This is how it's gonna have to work. We're gonna this, we, we have to make this quick because he might he might actually marry here soon. Um, arrange marriage between you, Aegon, our son, and Shira. Dynastic deference to player. I don't know what the fuck that means. Well, I know what deference is, but I don't understand dyna dyna dynastic deference. Base reluctance. I don't know what that means, but we we want you to marry Shira. That would be that would be best. And if we can get Gwyneth Rivers back, ah, she's kind of old though. Four more years, she'll be thirty. Mm, she might be too old. Um, Amon, Amon, the Lord of Blackheart. He does need somebody to marry. Amon. Now we already have Shira. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Search the realm. 
Oh shit! I'm 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 getting flooded with ideas now Be, uh, because because here's the thing: Aegon the Black rules Dragonstone, and then down here in Blackheart, where's Blackheart? Oh my God, where's Blackheart? I just saw it. There it is. There it is. I would love to make Lord Aemon the actual Lord of um. Ooh, offer not aggression pact. Okay, I would love to make Lord Aemon the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. I'd like to do that. That'd be nice. How do we do, how do, we do that? How do we do that? All right, well, I think we have to end our wars first. We'll end our wars first. Um, Agor Bittersteel might be, might be, might be, might be the only character who becomes a Lord Paramount that isn't a Blackfire, but is technically still related to us. So he'll be a, he'll be a special exemption. Your, uh, your enemy King Donald Aaron has been captured by Sir Wireless Appleton of Appleton Keep. Nice. Excellent. Send him terms. Um, enforced demands. Will lose their crown to be named Lord Paramount of the Vale, becoming to share part of the Iron Throne. That wasn't a part of the agreement. That was not a part of the agreement. God, I hate this game sometimes. Will lose their crown to be named Lord Paramount. They were all he was already a fucking Lord Paramount. Lies! Uh fuck you. Fuck you. And I can't I can't revoke his title. He's immune to hostile actions. Now okay, thanks. Thanks! It's about as cheesy as plot armor in Game of Thrones. Alright, the war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. Lord Paramount Donald Aaron, one of your tra one of your one of the traitors has been brought before you to hear your judgment. He will forfeit the veil. Okay. Okay, so things okay, so it this this must have been a previous calculation I made, and it is working as intended. He will forfeit the veil. Alright. Now we will make we will make a new Lord of the Vale. Um, I would love to take the Eerie from you, sir. Let's see, High Lordship of the Fingers. Lordship of the Eerie. Right, so if we're going to make one of our sons, Amon can't become Lord of the Vale because he's already Lord of Blackheart. We're going to try to make him Lord of the Stormlands. Lord Aegon the Black is already going to inherit the realm. He's going to inherit the crown lands and stuff. So we need to look to a new son. A new son. Um, okay, so we got Prince Daemon here. He... Uh, he's kind of a weird character. He's kind of a weird character, but he is cool. He's got dragon dreams. I'm I'm thinking about giving him the veil. Who can we betroth him to? Surely we can betroth him to somebody good before we uh, give him. So what I'm thinking about doing is if we're gonna give if we're gonna give little uh, Prince Daemon here the title grant land a title must have a land a title yes. So, we have the Kingdom of the Vale. Can we, do we have to convert that, or? No, no we don't, no we don't, okay, great. Okay, so we need to give Lordship of King's Landing, oh, we also have the Kingdom of the Reach, oh shit. Okay, so we need some, we need Lord, Lord tier titles first and foremost. We might even need a High Lordship before we can make uh, Prince, Prince Daemon the Lord of the Vale. And the same thing kind of goes for the Reach. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna try something. It says he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. I'm gonna take the Lordship of the Eerie. All right. Inform him, dear your father, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that Shira and Prince Aegon get married. Excellent. And then, uh, my liege, may you live in har harmony and contentment. I humbly accept your decision to revoke the lordship of the Eerie, though it grieves me deeply. You are a traitor, sir. You are. You should be grateful we're not taking your head. All right. Now let's see if we can uh, if we can fix this. Prince Daemon, I hereby grant you the title of the Eerie. Now a lot of you in the comment section are probably going to be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Trust me, I I have a good feeling about this. We're going to have Blackfires in every Lord Paramount position except for the Riverlands. That's going to be the bitter steals. All right, Lordship of the Eerie. Probably should have married him to somebody first. I am stupid like that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see, he's 12. Let's find a suitable, suitable partner while we still can. Okay, well, oh no, no, we can't use Tiora. She is uh, attractive and weak. 
Um, Nisora is is attractive. A lot of these females are really, really young. We want somebody with good traits. Oh man, Hellicent. Ugly and slow. That's not good. Um, a lot of these females are really old. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Women not in prison, not married. Diplomatic range, yes. Join court, yes. Do it by age. All right, sixteen something year old should work. Um, let's see. She's physically sturdy. Yeah, but that's kind of fat though. I'm not sure if we want that. I know technically it's a good stat. All right, we have Loressa who has the attractive trait. But I'm thinking we might need more than that. We might need more. Hey, Liane, she's kind of ugly, but she she is a giant, though. Giant black fires. That could work. Inform her to join our court immediately. We will we will arrange a betrothal between her and uh, Prince, Prince Daemon. Prince Daemon, Lord of the Eyrie. Okay, and now we can grant him the Kingdom of the Vale. So he doesn't even need high high uh, high, high lordships. What we have to be careful, though, is that that asshole, Donald Aaron, is in our dungeon. He has the High Lordship to the Eerie here. So he technically can can take these titles away from Lord Daemon. So it would be wise for us to get a High Lordship uh, from that asshole pertaining to this area. But we're going to give him the Kingdom of the Vale. Lord Paramount Daemon II. His guardian is Aegor the Bitter Steel. Fantastic. Nice. Now we can see we got a little Blackfire dragon here in uh, in the Eerie. In the Eerie. Now then, Donal Aaron. Where where are you? Oh shit, where is he? Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? He's been taken prisoner. Let's see. Not the... De jure, de jure, de jure. Hi, Lordship. Ah, D Donal Aaron. You have been imprisoned by Sir Wyless, the Shield of Atadale. All right, you've got a concussion. It's because you, yeah, it's because you suck. We can't actually take this from him. Cannot usurp a title from anyone in the same realm unless you have a strong claim. Who's at war? Okay, revoke. Lord Donald must be your direct vassal. Must have a special revoke reason if we have a truth. Okay, so he's not our direct vassal. Oh, he is the vassal now of Prince Daemon. So Daemon here can take the High Lordship. If you, if you, uh, all right, oh, cool. I'll, I will I will let my 12-year-old son rule the Vale now. Excellent. All right, and let's finish up the Siege of River Run. Oh, hold on. What are we doing here in Sunspear? Did we, um... Ah, yes, we took the capital, but Marin has gone into hiding with his children. Imprisoned by Archon Oro of Tyrosh. All right. Continue the assault. Victory at Shadow Town. To the glorious King Daemon. Peace be with you. All right, Liane is here with us. Let's see if um, little Daemon here wouldn't be interested in marrying her. I have a fucking cord on my ma on my mouse. It's making it hard to click stuff. All right, arrange betrothal between you and Liane, and he accepts because dynastic deference. I think that has to do with the fact that this that we're playing as 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 King Daemon and we created the dynasty of the Blackfires. So maybe Lord Paramount Daemon is like, well there's no fucking way I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna disagree with anything that uh, King Daemon suggests. Alright. So he's betrothed to a sixteen year old and she's huge. So I'm I'm hoping that will create some very large Blackfires in the future. We will have Agor Bittersteel ruling the uh, 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 the Riverlands. Um, now, now we have the Reach. Uh, we have the title Kingdom of the Reach, but we need to take um, High Garden. How do we do that? You, you are a vassal. Can we imprison you? If we fail, he might declare war on us or flee to another court, since Little Leo has acted dishonorably towards you. Ah, revoke the High Lordship. I don't want to revoke the High Lordship. I want to take the Lordship of High Garden. Because we can actually bypass... How many men does he have? 5,000. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sail back here, and we're going to attempt to imprison Lord Leo the Longthorn. He is a traitor, and if we can imprison him and he rebels, I think we can take the Lordship of... uh uh. uh High Garden from him. Oh, nice. 
All right. Well, then we don't need to move the ships back. We can just move you guys back to the Mander. And we're not tyrannical or anything for that, right? Nope. We were well within our rights. Now then. Hmm. Since he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. Yeah, but I don't want a high lordship. I want... Let's see. I want the lordship of High Garden. Not revocable. What? What the hell is that? We can revoke the Erie, but we can't revoke High Garden. Not possible to usurp county rank titles. All right, that's kind of annoying. Um, all right. So, Hagon. Hagon, Hagon, Hagon. He's still very much a child. Who we can't give any titles to, because he must have a landed title for which he can, he can, he can have. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to revoke the title. All right. Can we revoke this title, too? You fucking... You son of a bitch. Ah, this fucking game. All right. Lord Paramount Daemon Hagon. And we cannot grant him a landed title because we don't have any. Because we could only... It only allowed us to take the High Lordship of High Garden. It wouldn't let us take this title here. Revoke the title. Must have a special revoke reason if we have a truce. Cannot usurp a county rank title. Must have 100 prestige. Must have a special reason, special revoke reason if we have a truce. We don't have a truce, though. No, we do have a truce. For the next 10 years. Fuck you, man. We execute him. E yes, but then there's Wireless Terrell. Um, fuck me. All right, maybe we should um, improve diplomatic relations. N no. No, we're not going to do that. That Sir Peter, Master of Laws of the Iron Throne. Why don't yeah? Why don't we make Alistair, Lord of Oakenshield? We will make him Master of Laws, and we're gonna have you fabricate claims in High Garden. I want a claim on High Garden. Give it to me at once, and then we'll be able to revoke it because Lord uh, Leo Longthorn is in our dungeon. He's in our dungeon. All right, fourteen days before we can assault Sunspear. How goes? The Siege of River Run. They are on the verge of collapse. Excellent. Yes. One of you jailers has brought word from the cells. He says that your captive Lord Robin Waxley was covertly set free during the night by a small band of men. And now he is somehow independent. You would dare, sir. You would dare. Incompetent fools. Yep, he escaped. Now what we need to do is we need to revoke all the fucking titles we can that we can. Um, it seems like there are no more we can actually usurp. Devin! Why can't I... I can't... Apparently, I've already punished you somehow. And I can't call you for trial or anything. Was not captured in battle. Oh, okay. Was captured in battle. He likes us, though. If we released him... Nah, I don't remember why we... Oh, we captured him in battle. Right. He. So he fought us. Yeah, he fought us. Um... He likes us, though, so we're going to release him. We're going to be merciful, and we're going to release him. Now, hopefully, he'll remember that mercy. We won't release Lord Leo. Then we have Leslin Dondarrion. Oh, I know you, you son of a bitch. You are the asshole who fucking rebelled in Blackhaven and, and killed many of our men. Audrey Dondarrion. Oh, she's, she's decent looking. How about we kill this son of a bitch? This will upset rulers in Blueburn. What the fuck is Blueburn? What is Blueburn? I'm not really concerned about that, because <laughs> I have no idea where Blueburn is, and um, maybe we should just hold on to him right now. Then we got Sir Roger Blackwood. Um, can we call a trial for him? No, he was captured in battle, and he doesn't like us. Why doesn't he like us? In prison, religious differences, honorable knight. You know what? How about we be, we'll be reasonable. We'll be reasonable, and we'll release you, sir. All right. And with the capturing of River Run, King Edmund of the Trident hereby will have to surrender because he is all they are totally beaten. All right, send him a raven enforcing our demands. All right, cool. Now that war is over. Let's see. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed by a brave loyalist, Lord Paramount Edmund Tully. One of your traitors has been brought before you to hear your judgment. We will take the Trident from him. Yes. You will forfeit the Trident as usurped ti titular... No, wait, 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 wait. Usurp the title Kingdom of the Trident. Nice. 
Can we take anything else from him? Dear Father, your wisdom and legendary legendary uh, your 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 wisdom and mercy are legendary. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Liane and Lord Paramount Daemon the Second. My prisoner, Lord Edmund Tully, is complaining about his dark cell. Let him rot. All right, then we're gonna see if we can't take any more titles from him. High Lordship of River Run. See, see, now we can take the, the the Lordship of River Run. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, take that. Can we take any more titles from this son of a bitch? No. No, we can't. All right, but we can. We can. We can. We can make someone else the Lord of the Riverlands, and I think we all know who's gonna who's gonna get those titles. He's married to our daughter. Excellent. All right, grant him. The Lord, actually, you know what? He was already landed. We didn't have to take the Lord. We, we, we probably, we could have actually taken the High Lordship of uh, River Run and given that to Agor Bittersteel. But, you know what? We'll give him an excellent castle here in River Run, and we're also going to name you the new uh, uh, kingdom, Lord Paramount of the Trident. Lord Paramount Agor of the Trident. And as a lot of you pointed out, Bramsfort now, uh, the, the, the Trident is now being ruled from Bramsfort, so it is uh, kind of shit. But, you know what, maybe Agor will be smart and he'll move his ca his uh, uh, capital to River Run. If he's smart. If he's smart. Alright. Now, let's get this army to Castelly Rock. And we will siege that and we will take it from the Lannisters. And then Sunspear has already fallen to our brave, brave men. And I think we've got more men that we can throw into these ships here. Do it. No, 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 no. Put them on the ship. Put them on the boats. Nice. All right, now we got uh, High Lordship. Okay, we need to get more landed titles. But it looks like we'll need claims first before we can do that. All right. Um, Lord Morton of Pebble has joined King Daemon. All right, well, it's your it's your funeral, buddy. So you're marching for uh, uh, Castle Rock. All right, I don't care about that. That does not interest me. I also don't care about this. Um, we've got some decent money, don't we? Uh, we will. For some time now, I've noticed, um... For some time now, my son, Prince Amon, has been complaining about his painful joints. Apparently, they frequently swell up, becoming hot and aching for several hours. It sounds like he has gout. Because he does! He has gout and is a severe illness. Ooh. Call for a physician at once. Eh, well, that kind of sucks, Amon. Lord Paramount Bar Bar Barthagan Blacksword. All right. Fuck that guy. Prince Hagon! We will give you the best education possible, and we will continue training you in war. Perhaps, uh, Daemon should return to the capital. Because I think... How's the capital looking? Okay, I think the capital's relatively safe, and I think we've got this in the bag, so I'm gonna bring Daemon back home. Um, we've got Aubrey, Simon. Do we have anyone else that's a... a siege expert? Oh, yes, we do. Simon... Aubrey and Arthur. Sweet. Three siege specialists. That's gonna that's gonna make the siege of Castle Rock a lot easier. And now that Daemon is home, he can train his children. Um forced to train. This could kill him. Uh oh, Hagon. Hagon, Hagon, Hagon. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? And that's the only person he can actually train. Alright. Form an alliance. Form an alliance. Form an alliance is with everybody. Offer non-aggression packs. Um, the council is all full. Minor titles have been doled out, I believe. They should be. Court jester. My council. All right. Let's get Aegon to sit on the... A. Hey, no. You. What the... F How dare you? Tell me I can't have him on the council. How dare you? It's probably because he's considering some kind of... Uh, some kind of uh, offer from us. I'm, I'm sure that's why. I'm sure that's why. All right. Excellent. Excellent. We can call our allies into the war. We don't need to do that. Lucas has, vote, has voted for medium realm authority. Ah, oh, I see. Are are they? Is my council voting on something? I'm not sure. Let's look at the laws. Kingdom of the Reach, the Seven Kingdoms. All right. Yeah, it looks decent. Oh, it looks good from here. <laughs> looks good from here. All right, and we will take the rest of Sunspear. All right, I mean they're on the verge of collapse. All right, we need one more, one more percentage point. That's kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. 
Um, let's see. You have all right. We'll we'll we'll, we'll take Spotswood and we'll we'll end it. We'll end the the war for Sunspear here. We're gonna have to take the titles of Dorne away from them as well. Your Grace has come to our attention that Prince Aegon Blackfire, your vassal, is harboring Shira Targaryen, an exile enemy of the realm. I demand she is handed over instant. Handed over. Uh, no. No, she, she is harmless. Um, she has agreed to a marriage with Prince Aegon the Black. And she has, essentially, she has renounced her, her, well, not really, but she has renounced all claims of House Targaryen by marrying into uh, House Blackfire. Any children born of the Union will be of the Father's dynasty. Yes, she'll, she, will, she will create Blackfire. She's essentially joined our cause. All right. I mean, there are other Targaryens we need to deal with, but in all honesty, Daemon doesn't strike me as much of a... Okay, see, yeah, he's he's not much of an intrigue guy, as you can see by his intrigue level of zero. He does not plot. Period. He does no plotting. He prefers to fight his enemies out in the open. Gwyneth Rivers. All right, she's a, she's a bit too old, and Princess Maya Rivers is already married, so... Yep, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. All right. Prepare for the assault on Spotswood. Um, your grace will honor my... Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to, man. But sure, if you want to. All right. Victory. Um, let's go ahead and put that away for now. We will send our terms. We will not, we will not accept his terms. We will enforce our demands. He will lose that crown. Excellent. All right. Get these men on the boats. We are going to bring them to Castle Rock. Because I believe that's the last region of Westeros that has not been crushed. All right, and we're currently working on putting a Blackfire in the Reach. We will probably put a Blackfire in Sunspear. We have got Bittersteel ruling over the Riverlands. We have a Blackfire in the Vale. We'll put a Blackfire here in uh, in uh, the Westerlands. That just leaves the Stormlands, the North, and the Iron Isles as all needing to be reformed, technically. Because we don't really have plans to replace Lord Davos III, who is a treacherous son of a bitch that I do not trust. And then we've got Barthagan, the Black Sword, um, who is married to our daughter, or betrothed. We should probably break that betrothal, because this son of a bitch is completely useless. He will not fight in any wars with us. He is impossible to placate or sway. He is an enemy of House Blackfire, I have just now decided. And I'm going to break that betrothal, because fuck that guy. We're coming for you, Barthagan. We're coming for you. And then the Iron Isles are the same. They're tyrants and they're bastards. We'll replace them all. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I will take I will take this title from Prince Marin, and then I will end the episode. Yes, usurp the title of Dorn. After seizing Dorn, you have also captured the treasury of the deposed Lord Marin Martell. What did he? Ah, oh, the Crown of Dorn. Excellent. Now we have the Crown of Dorn. <laughs> Um, High Lordship of the Broken Arm. I would actually like more landed titles, please. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the episode here. We are slowly reforming Westeros in the, in the image of the Blackfires. And before this series is over, there will be a Blackfire in every Lord Paramount position across the Seven Kingdoms. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. If you haven't seen the new, uh, the new House Silverfire Season 2 episode, be sure to go on over there and check that out as well. This has been Crusader Kings 2, The Black Dragon Rises. I have been the Golden Joblivian, and until next time, I will see you all later.